Want to find out how we've made this origami kimono folded oriental style card? Well, stay tuned as we are taking part in the hashtag PMA craft challenge and we'll be giving you a full tutorial. Let's get crafting. You will need some black card, 10 inches by 7 inches and score at 2.5 inches and 5 inches fold and burnish. For your mat and layers, you will need gold card, one piece 4 and 3 quarter inches by 6 and 3 quarter and you will need four pieces 2 and a quarter inches by 6 and 3 quarter inches. You will need pattern paper and pattern one you will need one piece four and a half by six and a half inches and two pieces two inches by six and a half inches and pattern two you need two pieces which will be two inches by six and a half inches then for the kimono you will need one piece two and a quarter inches by eight and a quarter inches and an ornate frame and a liner pattern and we've kept it to the same as pattern two and the frame is the gold card and it coordinates nicely with the backing paper and we're just going to put it all together and we'll be back with you in a moment Okay, now on to folding our kimono. You're going to need your piece of paper that you've cut to size and it is easier if you use single sided paper. So what we'll do is we'll start by flipping the paper over and you're going to create a fold from the bottom, roughly about 10 millimetres, so one centimetre up from the bottom. You can eyeball this or use a ruler and find the easiest way to do it is to mark it and then just use your ruler as your guide to create your crease. Move your ruler out the way. Line up your edges. And if it's thin paper, you won't need a boning tool, but if it's thicker paper, you might need to give it a gentle tease with your boning tool. So that's step one. Then we'll flip it back over and we're going to take the corners in leaving a gap of about 5 mil in the middle there. So we'll try to get that. As even as possible. Just crease that off. So you'll have two triangles and a small gap in the middle. That's step two. Then we're going to measure 35 millimetres down from the top. And then bring your bottom edge down and give it a gentle burnish. So it should be looking something like this. Then we're going to flip it over and bring your pointy end to just below here. About one to two mil below, give it a gentle burnish. And now what we're going to do is create a diagonal fold, like so from here to about the middle and the same on the other side. And we want to do it to just about the edge of this collar here. So we'll take the edge fold that in give it a gentle burnish and repeat the same process On the other side. 
so it should look like this. Okay, then what we're going to do is this outside flap, we're just going to push that out and push down on the top here to create a little triangle. Same here, pull it out and push down. Then what we want to do is lift our collar section. So lifting this section here and just tucking that underneath. So again, lift the collar section here, tuck that underneath. And then what we're going to do is from the edge of the collar here, we're going to fold this back out upon itself. So, and same with this side. So, from just below the collar, we're going to fold it out and forming a kind of triangle and give that a little burnish. And it should look, if you've got any white showing, you can just manipulate it slightly. Something like this. Okay. Then we're going to flip it over and take this back section and just fold it over on itself. burnish, flip it back over and you should have something that looks roughly like a kimono. So I hope you're able to follow along with that. I'm going to leave in the next section a close-up of some instructions and you can always watch this bit back in the video. And now we're going to decorate a kimono, we're going to add a waistband, some decorations on the collar and some decorations on here. And then we're going to attach to our card. So stay tuned for the next part. going to use some of this decorative ribbon trim to add some finishing touches. I've used the blue and gold here to coordinate with the blues in the frame and it's peel and stick so it's quite easy to use and then on the gold part I noticed that when you peel it back you can either use the circle, but once the circles are used, it leaves little ornate pieces behind that really you can use or not, but they're small enough to apply a decorative edge to the collar. Once you've decorated your kimono any way you like, we're going to attach it to our ornate frame on the card using some 3D foam for a bit of dimension. And here is our finished card for PMA Craft Challenge. This month's prompt was the letter O for October. And we have used origami, we have used oriental papers and ornate 
oval die cuts and here it is and we've also got the panels completed at the back and it stands very very well and it really has a taste of luxury about it I added an additional frame in the inside for you to put your sentiment and message in we've left it blank at the moment because we're not quite sure if we'll use it for a birthday or a different celebration so here's the front all folded out and if we flip it over here is the reverse and we made a mini frame with some scrap card we had left over for the very back panel and you can also do it in different colourways with different papers to suit your own individual taste or your recipient's favourite colour that looks quite similar and obviously you can change up the papers we've gave you all the measurements in the video and we'll show you what the card looks like standing up in a moment thanks very much for watching hope you liked our creation and make sure to follow along using the hashtag pmacraftchallenge happy, happy crafting. crafting bye for now